On this very significant anniversary for Korea and Japan, we trace back the steps of how normalization of diplomatic relations affected both countries. And our Hwang sung -hee highlights the key moments of the past 50 years and shows us where the two nations currently stand. On June 22, 1965, Korea and Japan agreed to begin a new chapter in their relations, leaving behind decades of unfortunate history. The normalization of their diplomatic relations, a result of 14 years of lengthy negotiations, secured economic aid for Korea and post-war settlement for Japan. The Korea-Japan Treaty officially came into effect at 5 p.m. on June 22, leaving behind the unfortunate Korea-Japan relations of the past and paving the way for a grand new history. With the financial help of Japan, Korea rose from the ashes of war and underwent major growth. Half a century later, the two neighbors are the closest of economic partners, with bilateral trade volume jumping nearly 400-fold. But unresolved issues remain. In their treaty, Seoul and Tokyo failed to address Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of hundreds of thousands of Korean women. The issue came to light in 1991 with the testimony of one of the victims and is now the biggest point of contention between the two neighbors. Seoul is demanding a sincere apology and compensation from the Japanese government, while Tokyo claims that the issue was resolved by a 1995 landmark apology issued by then Prime Minister Tomichi Murayama. There are a number of other thorny issues, such as Japan's territorial claim over Korea's Tokdo Island and Tokyo's bid to list several wartime industrial facilities as UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. Whether or not the 50th anniversary of the normalization of relations can be a turning point for the two neighbors remains to be seen. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.